Well, everybody, how's it been going? It's uh, been a couple of weeks since I put up a video. Um, <clears throat> I had some problems last week recording. Uh, I had accidentally deleted my entire video project folder. And don't ask how I did that. I did something stupid. Any <laughs> anyway, I spent all of last Saturday mostly mostly rebuilding my uh, project files and things like that that needed to be done so that I could actually record and uh, ignore this stuff on my bar here. Um, and then when I did record, it turned out really bad quality. I'm not sure. I think when I converted the MKV file. I uh, accidentally set the quality too low on it and it was not up to my standards of quality to be put on the my channel I mean yeah I get the problem with the vi visual glitches that you just saw they, they keep popping up there but uh yeah I don't th this was just way beyond worse than that um, so anyway let's just get right to it I was going to come out here and show you, I named my horses, uh, accidentally killed, or got one of my best horse killed because he, uh, <laughs> he got blown up by two creepers. We'll go over there and take a look at that and I'll show you where that happened. Uh, yeah, come on. There we go. Yeah, well, it's over by my skeleton farm. Uh, I'm the only one on here today, so I shouldn't get too much lag. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I forgot to show you just now. Come on, guy. I named my horse. Uh, I actually used to have a horse with this name. Sold him for $200, and he became a world champion cutting horse. Uh, worth a whole lot of money. He's, I'm sure he's dead by now. It's been years and years ago. But, uh, yeah, so that didn't turn out well. <laughs> All right, let's close this. Awesome. Now I'm going to take you over here. Uh, I had the uh, video and everything set up, ready to go. I mean, I was ready to upload this video and stupidly deleted my entire video project folder. And uh, whoop, look out this way. There we go. Lost that video all my project files, everything I needed to make produce, quickly produce these videos because once I get them recorded it doesn't take maybe half an hour of editing. This one even had like slow-mo flashbacks and all kinds of good stuff. Sepia made it look like an old old film. Uh, we need to go to Skelly's. I probably should have brought a lead so that I could get across the water but We'll see. I'll head over that way anyhow. Um, don't fall too far. Yeah, it was... I was quite upset. <clears throat> uh, that was a good video. Uh, one of the... Probably one of the best I had ever turned out. And I just ruined it by deleting my folder. That just... That wasn't good. <clears throat> I wish I hadn't. But things happen, I guess. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> what is this? Can I get by here? I'm pretty sure I can. I went caving today. I got a lot of stuff, and I will show you that. I have a screenshot that I would just throw up in the video here, but I'm just going to pull it up in my image video, image viewer program. And, uh, we'll look at it that way. Because I really don't feel like doing that much editing today. So I was over here, and I had my horse tied up right here, and I was right over there in the skelly farm, as you, you can see it right there. <clears throat> and I came back, got my horse, and it was just starting to get dark as I was coming through the jungle there. Got on the horse, it was mostly dark already, mobs were already starting to spawn. And I head this way thinking, I had better get home because I'm going to die if I don't. Uh, so I go down. I'm not sure. I think I went up this way. 
and somebody's dug that out. And anyway, I went this way, and yes, right here, uh, I came across this direction, fell in here, and there were there was a spider, a couple of zombies, but there were two creepers right outside here. They both jumped in, and I tried to jump out, didn't make it, ended up just right here as they exploded. It blew me up in the air over here and my horse died and I freaked out I was upset <laughs> lost my best horse my only four jumper and uh, yeah that I just wasn't happy with that and I keep breeding these horses I've got a lot of three and a half jumpers that uh, I and that's I usually get horses that can jump three and a half high <clears throat> when I do this and there's a chance I could get one that, that can jump four, but apparently it's a pretty low chance because it takes the stats of the two parent horses, the jumping, well, I mean, in this case, jumping, but pretty much all the stats. They get added together with another random number. And... Ooh, this is new those three numbers are averaged together and that is the stat for the horse for example here jumping um, this horse whoa whoa how did that happen can I get out of here again that's really odd you can go right through that glass like that anyway the the three numbers get added together and averaged so that you can you can get better stats than the two parent horses it's possible and uh, I, that must have happened with this horse. And I really liked him because he was fairly quick, but he could jump. He could really jump. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't do any good when you kill your horse. Let's get up here. Ouch. Am I stuck now? Really? Ugh. Anyway, when you kill your horse, you lose it, and that's not good. <laughs> it makes you feel like dirt, because you love these horses after a while, and you get used to them, and they're like your friends. Oh, look at that. I forgot to start my timer again, and my coffee is cold. That's gross. Okay, so... Also, I came out here and I murdered all these guys. Every last one of them. There's babies right there. Huh. Anyway, I killed all of them. And they just came right back. <laughs> I let a couple out of the, the spawner there and they just bred like flies again. Uh, so, let's see what I have done in the time that I have... Uh, are you going to open? Awesome. This got blown up last week, too, during the other video. I had to repair it afterwards. Uh, there's a little bit of space. When this is closed, there's two. There's a two-block space right above that that it can't be helped. I have, it's, the, the pistons retract. And, uh, yeah, the, the, a creeper spawned in there. When I opened the gate, he fell out, and he just blew that up really good there. <sighs> anyway... So last week, when I recorded, I was going to... We'll just leave him like that for now. <clears throat> I was going to show you the things that I had built in my house here. Uh, nothing major. Uh, matter of fact, I'd better go back outside. Not sure if I showed you guys this. Uh, I put in lights out here to get rid of the torches. And there are bushes there. Uh, and... I put these columns that run vertically along here in certain places, uh, cobble to contrast with the stone brick, and then that's blue stained clay back there uh, behind that with, uh, these are slabs right here, just to give it a little continuity uh, so that it wasn't so starkly up and down. And I may do some more with that, I don't know, I think it's getting too busy. And, uh, whoops, fall in the water. 
and uh, I put this little arch here out of cobble. Man, my frame rates are just dropping through the floor. What's the frames here? 5 FPS. Wow. Anyway, I, you know, I may have a lot of chickens over there. We'll go check that. It's probably those stupid villagers. Uh, yeah, I, I got the idea if you're familiar with the Mindcrack server, or the B00 over there. He uh, was, I've been watching some of his videos, and he talks about accent blocks. <clears throat> you have base blocks, highlight blocks, and accent blocks, and they are slightly different. And the blue here, those are accent blocks. Wow. I don't talk about bad quality. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. I may have a lot of chickens over here. I've been working. But yeah, we'll go inside and I'll show you a few of the little things I've been doing. Actually, that's not bad. I'll show you a few of the things I've been doing around the house here. Trying to make things better because I'm not much of a builder, as I've stated before. I'm trying to make... Trying to change that, but I don't know. I'm just not not. I, I don't seem to be all that great at it. Oh yeah, protect the parent. No. Ah, <sighs> I really don't have too much out here. Matter of fact, I need to breed up some of these cows before I before they get killed. All right, back in here. Maybe as we get inside, my frames will pick up a little bit. Uh, you've seen the carpet in here, I believe, and you know what, let's go make it daylight. The villagers tend to freak out around night and with all the extra mobs around and stuff, let's just uh, get rid of the night time. I wish there was something I could do about that flickering, and there's just not. Uh, Intel video graphics on Linux combined with Minecraft are just not a pretty thing. Uh, well, my door's open. Anyway, I came down here, uh, cut this in here. I can't remove that because that's part of that next, the room next door, but I put in this little diagonal tunnel here, and it goes, you can see I've got mossy stone brick, crack brick on the floors, alternating with mossy cobble, every other every other side and all this does is go over here to the <clears throat> the seven mules mine and uh, yeah that's pretty much it that and that's just for looking from outside so you can see it uh, really go by there we go stop stop there we go no there we, yep stop now then it's just all cosmetic, and it, it, this allows a way to get into there without having to go outside and break through the wall and all that good stuff, so, yeah. Uh, nothing's changed here. This is all still the same. This is all still the same. Uh, see my chests in here. Did I tell you about this? Now, this has actually got one more of these and it needs. I think in my, the last time I recorded this I said I have 15 here but there's actually 16 because there's five on the back, nine on the sides, so that's 14. 14? One, two, three, oh, five and, five and six, that's 11. <laughs> and then 12, 13, 14, 15. Well I guess I was wrong. There are 15. But yeah this is to me this is the best layout I've found to get the best enchants. I guess it doesn't really matter as long as you've got at least 15 um, <clears throat> book frame, bookshelves. But I, this works best for me. And I, I, this is here, but this one torch is right here because I've been trying to get level 28 enchants. And believe it or not, now this is just a helmet I got off of, off of skeleton. But, gold helmet it's got protection, uh, projectile protection 4, respiration 2, and aqua affinity on it. That's a level 14 enchant that I just did today. I could not believe that. Level 14 to get those three enchantments is awesome. <clears throat> uh, 
But yeah, just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update because I haven't been around in a while. And uh, it's been a while since I posted a video. And I uh, just thought I'd check in. Let everybody know how I'm doing. That I'm not dead. I'm not gone. I'm not lost. I'm, I'm still here. Uh, whether anybody cares or not. Oh well, I don't. <laughs> so, just this was just supposed to be a quick video today. I don't know how long it's going to turn out to be, but uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Well, guys, I did forget to show you. I have this stuff here that I got from my latest haul. I went caving earlier today, and uh, it's, this is all the good stuff I got. Uh, you can see there I got a lot of redstone, a lot of uh, iron, 47 gold. Uh, ignore the cobble, I just carry that in case I need it. <laughs> Found a couple of du uh, skeleton dungeons in the uh, frontier world, that's that's where I go caving at. Uh, found four skeletons. Uh, excuse me, those are saddles, not skeletons. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, I found all that stuff. I got, I just picked up some track while I was there, and uh, got about, oh, looks like about 79 uh, mossy cobblestone. And uh, but the big thing is those diamonds right there. I found more diamonds today than I have ever found in a single day of playing this game, even in creative mode. Uh, look over there, that you got 64 and 47. Dude, that's 111 diamonds. Of course, I was using that pick down there, the second one on the bar, in the number six position. That's uh, Fortune 3. So I found a lot of diamonds, and uh, they were all started with a surface diamond that I saw from a distance and went and mined out. Uh, also, you'll see I have <clears throat> highlighted there that Power 5 Enchanted Book. I found that in one of the Skelly Dungeons, too. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would share that with you. I've, uh, I've never found that many diamonds in one place, and I just had to show it off. So, you guys can just <laughs> you can skip this part of the video. I don't care, but I just had to show that off. Anyway, uh, thanks, and now the video is really over.